Welcome to Story on Fire, Day 5. Yesterday we talked about the head, the heart, and the guts of the story. Today we're going to focus in on the heart of the story. So I wonder what you identified yesterday as emotions in the story. Certainly there are some word cues that we can take. Bewildered, amazed, perplexed, they sneer at them. How might you tell it using those verbal cues? When we read things, we often read them as if we are not astonished or amazed. Amazed and astonished, they asked, are not all these who are speaking Galileans? How do we expect people to understand what is going on in the text if we aren't ourselves amazed and maybe even perplexed at what, what is happening? But others sneered and said, they are filled with new wine. Is that how people generally sneer? Or can you lead into that line and offer it in a way that sounds, well, doubtful, cynical, sneery? When you're looking for the emotional cues to the text, another person's emotions that you want to take note of are the narrators, the writer themselves, and then another, are your own. For instance, in the first part of the text, we aren't given emotional cues about what is happening to the people, though we might guess, but the narrator himself seems to be an amazement or wonder. You decide what you see the narrator's disposition is on it, and then tell it accordingly. 